What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Guard. Got new fun products for you today. The very new format of Optic Football has reached a lot of people's hands. This is the Optic Football Value Packs. They're going to be 12 cards in each pack. And we are obviously going to be looking for those exclusive Rated Rookie Green Velocity, velocity Parallels. Now, the thing about this... First off, price is kind of high. It's anywhere from that, that $15, $16 range all the way up to $18 to $20, depending on where you get it. I ordered these off of Target, I believe, and got a decent amount. We have 10 today, so you can kind of get a good idea of what to expect when you open these bad boys. A um, couple things with this. First, not guaranteed to have a green velocity parallel in each pack. I think that's a little bit of a miss at the price point that we're looking at here. I think that would be uh, the least that we could see uh, Panini do for us here. The fact that you could open these and not get one uh, really makes that price point a little bit tough if you are looking to rip some optic football. Some other things here on the back we want to take a look. You are going to also be able to get, obviously, those hollows as well. And they have a new um, parallel in here, a new um, card, which is the Freedom. So that should be interesting. I think that has a, right, a red, white, and blue kind of style to it. Uh, we also are going to be able to get the uh, Rated Rookies and the Hollow Freedom and Green Velocity. They have the normal uh, Light It Up, Captain in Charge, Passing Grade. All those are normal. And the big thing, too, is can you hit a downtown? And yes, you can. They have downtowns in here. They have Mythicals, the Rookie Kings, International Downtowns, Super Bowl Downtowns, and the Blazers as well. So the question today is, can we pull a downtown out of a pack that's less than $20? That is what we're going for. Before we get into the RIP 2, guys, I want to let you know we have a whole lot of cards that you see right here in the back. A lot of cards right now up on eBay. A lot of them are actually ending today. So if you are interested and you want to see, we actually might even have some cards we pull out of these packs today that will be going up on our eBay. So definitely check that out. Use the link in the description down below. And without any further ado... Let's get into the rip. Let's see what we can pull out of these guys. Now, it does look to, I watched Andy's video and he was talking about, I guess, last year, they had some serious issues with people being able to see through the back of the packs and being able to tell what the hit was because they put the hit in the back. Uh, now they have that covered up. So you're gonna have base cards in the front, base cards in the back. So hopefully that will um, shy away from any Tom Foolery in the local card shops out there, or if these do end up hitting, uh, we actually do have a green velocity at the beginning. If these do end up hitting any of the shelves that you guys uh, go to, it's gonna be Stetson Bennett to start off there. Stetson Bennett, Trey Will, uh, Tyree Wilson, Dan Marino, and a lot of base. So as you can see, we're gonna have basically 10 cards are going to be mostly base, I would say. Now, if you have a downtown or a big hit like that, I think you would still have your normal um, two hits here, and then you would end up getting, you know, an additional card in there. So you probably would only have nine nine base, but um, that seems to be the format. We'll see how consistent it is. We have seen, obviously, in other products too, the consistency kind of bounce around. So there's Quentin Johnston. And there's going to be a hollow Keaton Mitchell. So as you can see, yep, it looks like that is going to be the nature of the beast with these. I, is it a fun rip? Oh, interesting. Is it a fun rip to like maybe buy one and see if you can pull downtown? Probably. If you can't get your hands on uh, uh, blasters, if you can't get your hands on megas, this probably is your best bet. These were, there we got another one right here. It'll be interesting to see how many we get out of 10 first off, but these were in stock for a very long time. It doesn't seem like these obviously are as sought after as uh, some of the other products. But it'll be interesting to see what this green velocity does. Because, uh, yeah, there's another, not a starting quarterback, rookie quarterback, but not a starter. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how these do because they are a sick card. I mean, that is a sick looking card. So be very curious. Lucas Van Ness there. Lawrence Taylor, Bosa, Heinz Ward, Tyreek Hill, Slate. All right, we are through three packs. And we've hit two velocities on two non-starting quarterbacks. 
It'd be nice to hit one. One starter here. Okay, it looks like we got the hollow coming up. Michael Wilson. And our hollow is going to be Emmanuel Forbes there. We got Pickens. And then, yep. All right. So, really honestly, pretty pretty easy rip. You. That's the only other thing I would say value packs wise. Like, I get, I feel like I get a little bit more money for the experience. And again, like when I rip cards, it's not like always about trying to hit the biggest cards. Obviously, that is nice, but I just like the, the experience of ripping packs. And so, with this, for 15, 16, 17 bucks, you're really only ripping one pack and you're flying through all the cards just to see the two. At least with a blaster, you know, for double the price, essentially, if you can get it at retail, uh, you have multiple packs in there that you can rip. It takes a little bit longer, a little bit more of a joyful experience, I would say. But that's just me. And uh, we, will, we will take that. We will take that. I didn't even bring over my uh, top loaders or sleeves but um that is going to be our first hollow puka and i think someone was saying that they just started they just started um accepting cards for grading so that's great news a, a lot of us i know probably have some cards i know i have a couple cj strouds that i would love to get graded um so if you have any optic Go ahead, send those in. I think PSA is now accepting them to grade. So that is uh, that is good news for anyone that has any cards that they're looking to try to get slabbed up. All right, we'll get we'll get these all taken care of. Sorry about that. All right, moving forward here, and a bunch of base. All right, you are going to get a whole bunch of base from this. Ten cards. It's going to be a hundred a hundred cards of base out of this optic. So. It will be a fat stack when we get done here. I don't know if I'm going to put that Puka on eBay yet. I haven't decided. I'm going to look at it a little bit longer. See if I want to put it on eBay or... Um, let me get a little more light on this here. See if I want to put that on eBay or if I want to uh, send that off to PSA. Captain in charge is going to be Mike Evans. So... it's. You definitely don't want to hit any sort of insert. It looks like the insert doesn't give you an additional card. It looks like the insert is going to take away the back card, which I guess leads me to believe that if it is a downtown, then uh, it will be that in that secondary position. Interesting here, Clark Phillips is actually a rookie. So that is a rookie card. So that is the only case that you will see a rookie in the first few cards. Got another hollow. Colts, Micah Parsons here. And a bunch of base there to end it. Sorry, the cards weren't even on camera there. I have a new setup. I don't think I like it. You guys know me. I change my setup all the time. I was trying to get it to where you guys could see all the uh, cards that we have on eBay in the back. But I'm starting to think that I don't like that. So uh, we won't do this again. There's another Kark Phillips. Because I don't like holding the cards up where I'm holding it right now, to be honest with you. It's kind of awkward. A little high. Brian Branch here. Primary colors of Jameer Gibbs and a bunch of base there on the back. All right, we are down to our final two packs. This is a fast, quick rip in and out. Not too much to see for. I think we still are only at two green velocities out of eight packs. Not a great hit rate ratio. Right now, it's looking like one out of every four. So 10 packs. We might be expecting, yeah, don't even have one here. So we might be expecting only two out of 10 packs, one out of every five. Not a great hit ratio, especially at that cost. So I'm going to probably tell you guys I would shy away from these. I would certainly shy away from these because the hits that you're really wanting out of these are those green velocities. And um, the fact that you can literally rip two, three, four packs of this and maybe not get one green velocity. So we got three. So 10 packs, three green velocities, 30% chance. I don't know. To me, this seems like a complete uh, shy away. 
And here we didn't even get a rookie. But we got a Puka. Oh, we got a rookie in the back. Interesting. Now, I'm not going to change my opinion. This card is absolutely disgusting and super filthy. It probably will be on our eBay if I'm not sending it off to PSA. Um, but I'm not going to change my opinion. Just because we hit a disgusting card to end the video, am I a little bit happier? Is my mood a little bit better? Absolutely. freaking lutely I'm not going to act like it's not. But at the end of the day, it still states, just to show you guys, this was a um, 100 and... We got 10, about 17. This is $170. So $170, uh, this is really what we're going away with. Just to kind of show you guys what we're dealing with. A couple rookies here. Some hollows on vet base cards. One or two inserts. Another hollow on a rookie. Two hollows on rookies. A couple base cards of rookies. And then our better hits, we have Zay Flowers, a velocity. So one velocity. Another insert, another velocity of Stetson, another velocity and a hollow. So, you know, I, I, I just don't see the value in this. And this is what I was actually trying to explain on Whatnot the other night of where like hobby boxes, the reason why the value is so good at hobby boxes to me is the ceiling is much higher. So if you are willing, and this is more break talk versus this, but if you are willing to get into a higher price point for certain breaks, for certain products, the ceiling is going to be so much higher based off that ratio, right? Versus a product like this, the ratio is much, much smaller on what you can hit. And also, you just saw, I opened $170 worth of product here. Um, I could have opened, you know, at retail, I could have opened four about four, I would say, blasters. And I think I'm probably going to be doing a lot better than that, right? With four blasters. So that's the thought process. Now, if you are hunting the green velocity, I'm not going to lie. If you want that green velocity on like a Jaden Reed or, or something like that, um, it looks disgusting. I'm sure the CJ Stroud green velocity is going to go bonkers and do insane numbers. Uh, I'm not doubting that. I'm just trying to tell you guys what I think. Give you guys my opinion. Take it for what you want. Uh, it's your money at the end of the day. Spend it however you want. But um, yeah, that's going to be it. I don't know if I'm going to be ripping any more of these on the YouTube channel. I do have some more that we probably will throw in some breaks uh, for those people that are looking for that green velocity. Um, but other than that, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. We are uh, the next goal. What's our next goal? 15,000 subscribers? I think that's the next goal. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.